Another specialty fly for the website, I thought we'd tie you up, is one of my favorites that I use for, for trout in the Columbia. I actually use it quite a bit for salmon. Pretty well caught every kind of fish on it. And it's Dawn's Killer Rabbit. This uh, combination of rabbit that you can use on flies is tremendous. They're, they make it in multiple different colors. Reds, black, purples, greens, whatever color you want, you can get in rabbit now. And rabbit is so spectacular when it's in the water because it undulates. It really gives lifelike life -like motion. If you put it together with some marabou and you combine the colors, you can have some great luck and really be creative with some patterns. So this one's Dawn's Killer Rabbit. It's a real good combination for salmon and for rainbow trout. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie it. For the hook, we'll tie it on a one aught stainless steel. We use some 6 aught black thread to tie with, some black and white marabou for the tail, some polar flash for some flash highlights on the tail, some white rabbit for the rear of the body, and some pinky peach rabbit for the front of the body. So I started the fly off by tying in my black thread. Now the real trick to starting this fly is getting the proper marabou. I want to use the tips. Normally I don't use the tips of marabou because they don't act right in the water. They won't undulate. And I want that to happen. I want it to actually flutter like a tail would. And when you put your two marabou tips together like this, and bring that marabou forward, just on your tips, when that gets in the water, it'll wiggle. It won't, it won't actually flow, but it'll actually wiggle because these tips are fairly stiff. So what we're going to do is tie these in just like this. Tie them in about the length of the hook. So make sure you just use the tips. And tie that in about the length of the hook. And once you've got a tight end, just trim off your excess. Now the next part of the fly is very critical. You've got your black tail tied in, and it was the tips of marabou. I'm also going to take my white tips, but I'm actually going to pull them apart, because what I want to do is just have this one little small tip that goes in. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to put it on one side of the fly, and make sure you leave about a half an inch of black still showing. So when we tie in this, we're going to tie in one white on one side and we'll do the exact same for the second side. Make sure that white leaves about half of that, you know, a good half an inch of that black still showing and do the same on the other side. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side as I mentioned earlier. Measure them up and put the white marabou on that side. Now when this is in the water, you're going to see how this flows. What it's going to do is form and compact together. And I'll give you an example of just wetting it. And you're going to have white part and you're actually going to have the black part. And it'll look like a tail. It'll look like the black tips of a tail with the white part of that actual tail fluttering in the water. And we're going to put a few highlights along the side right now. And once you get the highlights to, to accentuate it and you get that black and white marable working, it looks exactly like a tail. You wait till you see it in the water. So let's wrap this forward and then we're going to tie in some highlights on either side of that tail. Now take about six to eight strands of your polar flash and what I'm going to do is tie it up on my thread and then what I'm going to do is I've got it on top of the hook now I'm going to pull it down to either side of that tail and then wrap it back with the thread. So as I wrap it back it keeps that tail to the you know the flare the highlights to the side and then I'm just going to trim it with my hook in various lengths just keep cutting it with your or with my scissors keep gnawing it through until you have a couple little highlights on either side. That is really going to set off this fly and make that realistic tail on it. Now we're going to create the body. Now we're going to start our body. And Now wrapping the body is very simple. It's just wrapping the rabbit forward. The key here is making sure you have the right flow of rabbit. So see how the rabbit is pulling back this way. The real motion of the rabbit points back. So I'm going to tie it in this way. I'm going to form the just a little bit of that rabbit on the back of the hook, tie it into the tail, and I'm only going halfway up the hook. Now I'm going to wrap it forward, and I'm wrapping it on the natural flow of that rabbit. And as you wrap it forward, just keep pulling that rabbit back, and again, I'm only going probably two-thirds up the way of the hook. We want this uh, body to be about two-thirds long here of the white rabbit. Remember, always pull that rabbit back as you're wrapping forward. 
and then tie off once you've gotten about two-thirds of the way up the hook. Now we're going to take our peachy pink rabbit. Now again you can use different colors as I mentioned in the intro. I just love this color because it makes it look like a wounded fish. I've got all the colors of a fish and a lot of times I'll even take this rabbit, I'll take a Panatone waterproof pen and color the top of this with some green. Put a little you know a little bit of red on the sides and make it look like a wounded fish but this really sets it off. This peachy pink rabbit is excellent for the head. So again I'm going to tie it in near the head of the fly. Wrap it back, then wrap back forward towards the eyelet and tie in a head on this fly and you want the nice peachy pink head on it. And as I'm wrapping it forward, again you want to just keep pulling that rabbit back so it lays down on the hook. And the peachy pink, as you'll see, is a little bit longer than the white. So it'll actually flow over that white rabbit. Get to the head and tie it off. Cut off our excess rabbit. And now what we're going to do is tie in the head. Tie in a nice big black head on the fly. Okay, to finish fly off now that we've got a bit of the black head built up, I just like to wet my fingers and push this rabbit back. Take the whip finisher, take a couple whip finishes on the head. Get that knot in there. Cut off our thread and give it a little bit of head cement. It's always nice to head cement these flies. And after you head cement, I like to clean out the eyelet. You know, you're going to get a lot of head cement in that eyelet. So just get a bodkin. And everybody knows what a bodkin is. Just that little pointy thing that comes in your fly tying kits. Just like a, a sharp needle. And just run the bodkin through, the, through your eyelet there a couple of times. And that will clear it out of any head cement. And there it is. Now that is the finished killer rabbit. It's got everything you need in a fly. and It's got the white, the peachy, peachy color to it. It's got a real lifelike tail. Imitates a small minnow fleeing that's got quite a big body to it. This rabbit will slim right down and you wait till you see this fly in the water. It's remarkable.